Well, new on Six in Your Side, new developments now in the hazing lawsuit against the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity at the University of Alabama. There are criminal charges in this case now. Brian Henry joins us now live to explain what's next. Well, Sarah, that court hearing is set for next Thursday in a Tuscaloosa County courtroom. The judge in that case will hear motions to dismiss the case, and the student victim's attorney is seeking a jury trial in the case as well. So there's been several motions. Attorney Evan Rosemore represents a victim of the case, identified as HB in court documents. But what's been so concerning to us is that normally concussions um, resolve, the symptoms resolve, fairly quickly, but if you're having symptoms months out, three months out, six months out, still, um, they typically refer to that as like a post-concussive post syndrome. According to the lawsuit filed back in September of last year, HB suffered a severe beating, struck in the head with a basketball, instructed to snort a white powdery substance, and told to yell racial slurs at a black student. These are allegations that allegedly took place in August of 2023 during pledge period. On things like memory, uh, vision changes, um, headaches, lethargy, um, personality changes. Since then, a suspect faces criminal charges in connection with the alleged abuse. Meantime, Rosemore says their civil lawsuit is against the fraternity, not the University of Alabama. Still kind of calculating what his economic damages are at this time because he's still treating. WBRC reached out to the fraternity for a response on the latest developments. No response so far. Evan Rosemore says if this client is granted a jury trial, it will likely take place in 2025. And Evan Rosemore says HB remains a student here at the University of Alabama and is doing well. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.